sixpence none the richer opened their account in deepest Texas when 17-year-old songwriter Matt Slocum heard the voice of a 13-year-old singer named Lee. And all of these things you he had written his first song and that's, um, that's how we first got together. He heard me singing either in church or school, we can't really remember, but he liked my voice and wanted to hear my voice on this brand new song that he had. And so we did that and we've been working together ever since and that was like nine years ago. kids from this really small town in Texas, I, I can't explain exactly how it's happened, but that's part of why we, we persisted in this. I felt like there was something really special that had been put together for a reason and that it wasn't quite time to give it up. Faith and literature both contributed to the unusual band name, which was to become familiar across the world. It's from a C.S. Lewis book called Mere Christianity, and there's a story in the book where a child asks his father for a sixpence to buy the father a gift, and the father gives the child the money, and then he's really happy with the gift that he gets, but he realizes he's not any, any richer or better off financially for the transaction because um, he gave the child the money in the first place. And so um, C.S. Lewis was comparing that to his belief that God gave us the gifts that we have, and that to to serve him with those gifts the way that we should. We should be humble and realize where we got the gifts in the first place. Sixpence were none the richer for their first two years in the music business. When their first record label was taken over, they became locked in a contractual dispute which led to a two-year absence from recording. By the time they signed with Squint Records, Matt had written a wealth of new material. I think Matt is an extremely gifted songwriter and um, there's just something about the com combination. I think that his, um, his lyrics are really honest and heartfelt and intelligent and innocent in a way and my voice just fits right in that, in that uh, groove with the songs. Kiss Me is, is actually even a lot older than the album is, and um, he, I came over and, and he had been reading a Dylan Thomas uh, book of stories, and it just was inspired by one of the stories. It's really not by, um, it's not about a girl or anything romantic really like that. It's supposed to be sort of an innocent story, more like a childlike romance than anything sassy. <laughs> started to kind of take on a life of its own after it was put in this movie She's All That and it just started to strike a chord with a lot of young people. So kiss me. Matt wasn't quite sure he wanted it on the album and so we've got to keep our eye on him from now on. <laughs> Make sure he's not passing up anything really great but we, um, the label did. They, they were pretty sure right away. It was a very important number two single, so um, it wasn't really in our hands to choose what the single was going to be um, at first. We kind of leave that up to the label, because after all, if we had chosen the single for the album, it would have probably not been Kiss Me, so um, it's better, definitely better left in their hands. And um, We had not recorded There She Goes for the album, um, and we just started uh, performing it live about a year and a half ago and it was just going over really well with audiences and the label was aware of that and encouraged us to record the song. I think it was a good choice because it uh, strikes a chord with a lot of people already and it's kind of instant familiarity with it and it's a great song. We called it a perfect pop song and the Laws were a great band that we were fans of so it's good to kind of do a tribute to that song. While Lee favors the track Love as the next single from the album, Insiders say, I Can't Catch You will be the one to continue the Sixpence success story. We're being ourselves, and that's the true joy of this, is that we're 
able to have been ourselves up to this point and not put on any sort of act. And, and here we are, and just from good songs and perseverance, you can do it. Yeah.